Joseph Lister, the surgeon who defeated the invisible enemy. Imagine a 19th century hospital, corridors permeated by the smell of gangrene, operations that seemed successful but ended in slow agony due to infection. For many patients, surviving the scalpel was just the beginning of a sentence. It was in this dark setting that Joseph Lister changed the history of medicine. Born in 1827, Lister was not content to accept the inevitability of sepsis. A meticulous observer, he was intrigued by the extremely high mortality rates following surgery. Then he learned about the work of Louis Pasteur, who had demonstrated that invisible germs were responsible for decay and disease. The idea struck Lister like a bolt of lightning. If germs could spoil wine, they could also kill in an operating room. His gamble was a bold one. He began using carboxylic acid, phenol, to clean wounds, instruments, and even the air in the operating room. At a time when surgeons prided themselves on operating with bare hands and unwashed scalpels, the proposal seemed almost absurd. His colleagues ridiculed him, complaining about the pungent smell of phenol and the extra effort his methods required. But the numbers spoke louder than the mockery. Where mortality after amputations had previously been close to 50%, in Lister's operating rooms, it fell to less than 15%. Every life saved was an argument that could not be refuted. With patience and conviction, Lister achieved the unthinkable. He got medicine to embrace the idea of asepsis. Thanks to him, surgery ceased to be a death sentence and became a precision science, where hygiene became the first weapon against disease. Today, every mask, every sterile glove, and every disinfected scalpel are the legacy of that man who dared to believe in the invisible. Joseph Lister, the father of modern surgery, reminded us that sometimes the greatest enemy is not the one we see, but the one we learn to imagine.